Secondly, you must agree that when I am speaking, you will not interrupt. No, I'll ask a question. Do you agree? No, no, he doesn't agree. I was talking over there, you interrupted me, now debate. Where's the original India? Where is the original? Why are you Why are you running away? There's all versions of the Bible, and I said, what about versions of the Quran? And your reply was, different words, same meaning. We made that claim before you. So the community existed before the scripture because it's the letter to the Corinthian church that is in the scripture, but he's writing that scripture to a church. So the church existed before the scripture. There's your evidence. Come out with sound bites. That's all you've got. Look, brother. Brother, look. What does Jesus call himself there? Show me, show me the, show me the original there. Bible. Man. Listen, show me listen, the Bible. Listen, you can't listen to what Jesus said. For the hour has come, glorify your Son. Praise him. So Jesus just said, Father, the hour has come, glorify your Son. So you just said Jesus never calls himself the Son of God. He come, just did come, it. Come, right come, there. The, come How do you the, reply? Come with the original Bible and teach me. You come, come with the original Bible. I, why should I? I'm not, You're making the claim. I'm making the claim. You are, what's you your claim? My what's claim, your claim? Come, come with the original Bible and then we can speak. Shall I tell you? Shall I tell you what? Yes, yeah, show I'm, us. Where is it? Show us. No, we got it. Where, where is it? it? We've got it. We've got it. It's here. We, it's here. Show, show me. We never claimed that Jesus wrote Bible. We never claimed it. We never claimed. Yeah, this is a Bible. You see, sound bites. That's all the Muslims have got. Sound bites. That's not even the Bible. You're not even able to have a conversation. You just shout. I'm not having a conversation. What I'm saying is reading the Bible. Sound bites. That's all the Muslims have got. Sound bites. All the Muslims have. Sound bites. Show me the original Injil. <laughs> because your Quran claims there is one. Yeah, there is. Where? Where is it? That's Where? what I'm asking. Show me. Where is it? The Quran says there is an original in Jill. Where, where is the original? Where is the, where is the original in Jill? You know it. You where, where, know it. Yes, here. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Where, where's the original in Jill? No. No. Where's the original in Jill? For two thousand years. I don't have it. No, you don't have it. Is there a Muslim museum somewhere that has it? Yeah. Yeah. Which Muslim museum can I go to to see the original? I'm not here. Where, where's the original? Where is the original Injil? Where is the original Injil? I was uh, talking one? over there, you interrupted me, now debate. Why, why are you coming Where's with the, the original Injil? Why are you coming with the Facebook? Where I don't is even the original Injil? Why are you running away? Why are you running away? Well, you running away? <laughs> Where's the original Injil? <laughs> in Turkey. Yeah. Apparently, the original Injil is in Turkey. Which museum, sir? You don't know. Sound bites. No evidence, just sound bites. That's all the most. Muslims have is sound bite. No evidence. Where's the original Injil? Where is it, sir? Where's the original Bible? It's right in my hand. Where's the original Injil? You should just do it in the Where is it? You go to any Christian. No, no, no. Hold you, go, on. you go to a qualified let's, Christian. Let's, you go to a qualified Christian. Shall we have a conversation? Ask him, ask him. Yeah. Shall we have a conversation? Have you had a conversation? You're not even having a conversation in your entire life. You've never had an intelligent conversation about Christianity. I don't even want to have it, man. Yeah, no, but you were busy shouting at me so answer this question where's the original Injil sir running away no 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 you made a claim that this isn't the original would you agree with me 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 there's a Christian there's a Christian would you agree with me would you agree with me wait what sir sir you heckled me now I'm heckling you would you agree with me 
that to uh, say that this is corrupted means that you have to have an original to prove it is. Can you show me that? Can you show me that? Can you show me that? Sir, can you show me that? Sir, where, where's the original in here? So as you can see, sound bites, sound bites is all that they have. It's all that they have. He can't have a conversation. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. You're scared of me. You're scared of me. No, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. Are you listening? This is why I don't talk to you. Okay, sorry, sorry. Are you listening? Because you are incapable of having a conversation. I've tried to talk to you. Listen, this is what I mean. You're incapable of having a conversation. There we go. Because I've tried three times in the past to have conversations with you. Every single one of them Only one. has descended into a shouting match. Now, if you can agree to a time debate where you will actually be quiet when I am speaking, I'll debate you right now. With, with verses. Will you? With, with no, verses, yeah. what, no, 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 listen. Yeah, I'll debate you. I'm offering I'll debate you. I'll debate you. I'm not no, offering me. No, no, I'm offering, offering you no, no, a debate offering right, you. right now yes, yes. that you must agree beforehand on camera that it will be timed. Secondly, you must agree yes. that when I am speaking, you will not interrupt. No, I'll ask a question. Do you I'll agree? No, it, it, no, he doesn't agree. Talking, and question. that is why I don't if have a conversation. Lie, I'll ask you a question. That's why me and him can't have a conversation. No, no, no. No, no, right? listen, listen. no that's why I'm if not going to have a conversation. If you say something, I'm yeah, telling that's you that. Why. So I'm going to walk away. I offered him. I offered him. No, 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 him. I offered you a time. Because you know that you're scared. Ask the question. Okay. I offered you. I offered you a time debate. Do you want a time debate? Listen. Do you want a time debate? But I can ask you questions. Do you want? No, no, no. Okay. No, listen. Do, do it. No, do, do, debate. Debate. No, 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 no. No, no. Before we begin, do you agree that? Why are I'm, you giving me? Do you see what I mean? No, no, you no, can't no. have a conversation with him. You don't have a conversation with him. I'll, I'll, I'll converse with any Muslim. Any Muslim here, but not you. Why not? I've just because explained. Get off me. No, really, I'm not. Let us do it. No, no, no. I, because Let all, us do because this is what happens. Look, we're talking over one another right now, and that is all that happens with. That's what I'm gonna do for you. Yeah, there, there you go. He actually you, says I'm that's what he's going to do. No, no, he's actually hello, just said that's what hello, he's going to do. I said I can make any Muslim here, <laughs> but not you, <laughs> because <laughs> not, because he's incapable of having a conversation. <laughs> so, Muslims have claimed that this book is changed. Which one? Would you agree? Right, great. It is. It is. It is. The Bible, yeah. Would you agree that if it is changed, you have to have the original to show the change? No. Do you have the original? No, no, no. No? Do you have the original? Yeah, me I have no. it. No, do me you have the me original? Me I have it. Me I have it. So, me I have it. On what basis do you me say it, it was changed? There's multiple versions. No, no, me I have it. There's multiple versions of the Quran. What's your point? No, no, no. No, there isn't. No, which, which, which Quran? Which Bible? Which Quran? Which Bible? Which Quran? That's different. Which Quran? Recitation. Which Quran? Recitation. Which Quran? The Duri Quran? The Hafs Quran? The Wash Quran? Which Quran? Do they have different words? Do they have different words? No, no. By the same meaning. They do have different words. By the same meaning. They do have different words. By the same meaning. You don't even know what you guys are talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. Right. So I want to talk about the Bible. Okay. But the thing is, if we're going to talk about the Bible, you can't make spurious arguments. If an argument is true about your religion, you can't apply it to mine. No. Now you have different versions of the Quran. It's not true. That's it's true. Prove it, prove it, you prove it, also have. Prove it from the Quran. From the, you also, no, no, are you are you denying that there's half washing duty? Prove it from the Quran. Are you, are you denying? No, no, prove it from the, that there's half washing. No, no, stop no, touching no, me. No, no, no. Stop no. touching me. Because you are living in a country where there's gay need... and lesbian. You don't no, have no, no, bro, 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 bro. Me, I'm not gay. No. I don't. I'm, so, I'm Muslim. Do you deny you that there's are half washing duty? That's why you don't do that. Deny it. Why not? Do you deny it? Listen. You don't deny it. So there are half washing duties. No. And is it true that half washing duty do have different words? But it's the same meaning. Different words. The same meaning. So are we agreed that they have different words? How many surahs? Are we agreed? How many surahs? How many surahs? Are we agreed? How many surahs? Ha no, one second. How many surahs? Are we agreed that Hafs, Wash and Duri have different words? How many surahs? Answer that question. How many surahs? How many surahs? Yes. How many verses? So, then it is fair to say that those are different versions. Different 
words mm -hmm. have different okay. meanings. No, you it's want not, me to show you? Just a just a right now. You know the word color? Let me see. It's spelled C L O R in American, and in English it's spelled C L O U R. It's the same. It's the same it. word taking you, right? Like me. Abraham or Abraham. The sentence. Some people say Abraham. That is not saying Abraham. That's the sentence. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Let us do it. So. The reality is no, 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 show you, show you. differences impact the localized meaning of the text. So they change the localized meaning of the text. Okay? I'll show you some. The Bible itself says that it has been changed. The Bible itself says that it has been changed. The Bible says Nobody's talking to you. No, you say now you're scared. Because I can give you verses. No, I've already explained why I'm not talking to you. I can give you verses that the Bible says that it has been changed. You need to go away, learn some manners. And when you've learned some manners, come back. Which go. manners? Like the you manners. Can, I need to do a lot. Uh, manners. 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 Yes. Yes. I've offered you, 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 you the have offered you the opportunity for the time you made. Yeah, you need to learn some manners. Yes, you need to learn some manners. You call me manners? Yes, you need to learn some manners. Me, manners? Yes, you. You can have sex with your own mother. Need to learn some manners. Sisters, brothers, you call me manners? Yes, you need to learn some manners. A man can have sex with your own mother, another man. And you call me manners? Yes, you need to learn some manners. You can have sex with your brother, it's true or false. You need to learn some manners. I'm asking, can you do that to your brother? Or not. So, hold on. That's your religion. And it's there in your Bible. I can prove to you in the Bible. Honestly, I'm not interested in talking. I can prove it because you, I know that you're scared of me. I know. But really, it's not clear. Your it's Bible says in Jeremiah 8, 8 that it has been changed. It's, just, it's just pointless talking to you. Listen. Because there is no conversation. Jeremiah here. Yeah. Okay. Jeremiah 8, 8 says that it has been changed. True or false? And I can prove no. to you that the Bible has been changed. So, let I me just find out. Give you a lot of verses. Is that from the Bible? From the Bible. Jeremiah 8, 8 says that it has been changed. The Bible itself says. Listen, listen, listen. You made it clear that the Bible never changed even. No, 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 you accept then that they're all the different versions. The man, so we all, we're agreed that they're and, 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 and all different versions. And they were intended to be so. So we all, and all fit to the standards for that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so, 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 16 so, has been so, cut off. Let, let, let's just and your book, continue your our conversation. That's true. You see that? I don't know. He's scared of me. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Mark 16 reading for you. What does it mean? I just want to So you agree. Yes, you agree. You agree. The lie of the standards for that. Mark 16 reading for that. So, so what, what, what you're saying? So, so you bring forward, there's nothing new to the Sun's knowledge. No, it, hold on one second. Listen, bro. Muslim diets claimed before Christians exposed the lie that every Quran was word for word and dot for dot the same. Ahmed did that, did it? Ahmed did that, did it? He's on record as doing it. You know who Ahmed did that? I know Ahmed did that. What you're talking about? I remember reading the book given to me by a Muslim in a mosque. He said, read this book. It was about the Quran and the Bible. And in the Quran, in, the, in that book, Ahmadi that said, every Quran, everywhere in the world, for 14 centuries, has been word for word, dot for dot, letter for letter, identical. That's what Ahmadi that claimed. So, yes, I agree with you. Muslims did know about differences in their Quran. But Dayi lied about this information, like Ahmed did that. So, Muslims in this park, up until Hatun Tash, exposing the lie with Jay Smith, used to tell people that every Quran was the same. And then these truths came out, and Muslims have now backed off from that claim. Right, so which has acknowledged that the Muslim world far before the Christian Great. world that Ahmed Didat mentioned that. Great. Which we agree on, right? Great. So that's a controversial in the Muslim world. So. But it all fits under the same standard of the Quran that we have. 
Islam, right? So there's no problem, it's not controversial. It says we accept hundreds, maybe millions of years ago, right? Yeah. Uh, so, so we're in agreement, right? It's not contentious, it's not conflict. Yeah, right. On the other hand, the Bible, there's many different Bibles, there are many different versions, and you cannot make an intellectual claim or a tenable claim that you have the same gospel of Jesus from a secular point, from a Christian point, yes, from can. a biblical point. No, okay, please, man. So, so, so let, let's just be clear about something. No, 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 no. Do we thank you for agreeing with me, though you earlier did not agree with me, that there are different versions of the Quran? Yeah, you're lying about me now. No, so, no you, you said that I was lying. Or oh, maybe it was one of your friends. Maybe I'm sorry. Maybe it was one of your friends. Okay, right. Well, the camera will show whether it was you or one of your friends. But thank you for agreeing with me that there are different versions of the Quran. And I agree with you. Right. I'm ignorant to it. Right. But Great. Ignorant. Great. So the, the, the question is. I don't agree with the Quran. And I don't agree to it. And I don't agree to it. And I don't subscribe to the Quran. Listen. 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 So we've agreed now that versions are not a problem. No. We, we, we've agreed that versions are not a problem. I didn't agree to the version. I didn't subscribe to it. What's a version mean? There's different Quran. What does a version mean? You understand that you have a good understanding of Arabic. What, what, what? No, of course not. Most Muslims don't. What's your point? That's fine. That's fine. What's right. your point? This is an inspection by the Islamic creed. Muslim theologians know this, right? So yes. people say that these things were intended to be so. So what you're saying is you're bringing nothing new to the table. The only argument you're making is that some Muslims are ignorant to it. Oh well. So on the other hand, so, so we've got no conflict about the Quran. On the no, other we hand, we do have conflict. Why? Well, well, for instance, Muslims make the claim that there are how many harus? How many? Seven. Seven. Oh, do you know that there's more than seven? I'm not going to pretend to be knowledgeable in this aspect. But, 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 okay, but, so but, but, but the argument, but the argument you make. I don't want to talk about. It. Because he's been. Really, some of them. Like he's, I know of some of them. You know the thing is, he agrees with everything we're saying. The only thing that's he puts words version on it. He puts words version on the church in the subject. But he's agreed with me that this is no longer known. There's no longer a Muslim world, right? We have no conflict here. No, there is. This is, this is the same means. Do all these different Harun Khidas fit into the Uthman standard? There, there are seven. There, there, are, there are seven Harun. Fit into the Uthman standard. It's not. What's what turn? It's been standardized by Uthman, Quran, right? Yeah. And do all these different Khidas that Harun is talking about? Do they fit into it? Um, um, where, where, where? Do they fit into it? Yes or no? Because that's what we call Quran, right? Hold on one second. Fit into it. Hold on one second. So, so you're you're basically getting the semantics right now. No, no, no. Semantics game. This is where you're going to get busted, right? Because you just appeal. I'm making, it's not about the Quran. Right. I'm making, so it's not about the Quran. No, it's not because there's no conflict. Just, you, you, you don't even know what argument I'm making, do you? You said earlier when I came here yeah. that for you to know there's a different Bible, so the Bible can change. Yes. You have the original, yes. right? So I'm guessing you was making an argument the Bible has never changed, right? No, you've got to listen to what I was trying to say. Okay, but the point is, yeah. Muslims like this guy get so excited, and you'll see it if you just stand there. He's going to consistently interrupt him all the time, which is why I don't talk to him. Now, no, so let me be clear about the Christian position because if you're going to engage in an interreligious dialogue, right, this means you don't have to interrupt them. Yeah, if you're going to listen, listen. So if you're going to engage in an interreligious conversation, a sensible, intelligent, academic, high level conversation, you have to appreciate where your opponent's coming from and what they're calling you to. Because I'm not calling you to a religion like Islam, I'm calling you to a religion that is better than Islam. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So we Christians, we're not bothered by typographical differences in terms of the religious text. We're not bothered by different canons of text. What we're talking about as Christians, what is important to us is the message that they deliver. Okay? That's what's important. That, that's my starting position. Okay. Now, Muslims make a claim. They claim that my Bible can't be trusted because it has been changed. Is that fair? Right, so I'm not straw manning your position. I'm not lying about what Muslims say to one another about the Bible. Am I being fair? It's important you 
I'm, I'm asking you so far in this discussion, am I being fair to the Muslim position? I don't want to watch this. Why are you nervous? You either know it or you don't know it. You just making a clear the Bible. Are you saying you don't know the Muslim position? I said to you earlier, we spoke on the Muslim position already on court aside. Okay, okay. We both agreed. We're going to come back. Whether we like or not, we agreed on the Muslim position. Well, you are. We, we, well, I am we haven't in, agreed. Well, you talk about trying to be polite to me. What I am interested in is your understanding of the Bible, whether it's changed or not. You're about to explain to me the Christian perspective on it, right? That's what I'm interested in right now. Before. Okay, so, he doesn't listen. No, I listen. I listen. Shall I, shall I prove to you that I listen? You asked me to tell you what the Christian position was about the Bible. So I was listening to you. So now apologize for saying I wasn't listening. Of course not. Because superiority complex. Are you listening? Right. So the Christian position is that the church came first before the Bible was written. The message that the church proselytized across the Mediterranean and the Near East was there before any books of the New Testament. Now, Muslims make the claim that that Bible that I hold on to, that I believe in, that I use, has been changed from an Islamic original called the Injil. For you to hold on to that claim, you have to prove that the Injil existed. The burden of proof is on you to prove that the Injil existed. You said two seconds ago, you said Christian respect to me, now you drag a Muslim again. You said two seconds ago, you said the church came before the, um, the right. Bible, is that correct? Yes. What's the church based on then? No, if there's no Bible, what's the church based on? But how do you have the teaching of Jesus Christ without the Bible? You said to me right now, the church came before the Bible. That's correct. I'm asking you, what is the church based on if you don't have a Bible? The teachings of Jesus Christ. How do you get those teachings? It was an oral teaching. from the men. It was called from the apostles. Because they, they learnt it and passed it on. They taught it. It makes sense because we're saying. You're telling me that you teach it. Do you believe in this for your hadiths? Oh my god. No. So what is the church no, based on? Say that. He, he said that I'm off. I said yeah. that the Bible came after the church. Okay, the church that's the same came thing. Before the Bible. Okay, that's what I said right now. Right. So, so what is the church based on? It's based upon the event of Christ's resurrection, how that impacted the people that experienced that resurrection, and then the communities that those same people went and founded and then wrote letters to. And and then wrote the biography of Jesus about. So all of them that came before the Bible? Before the New Testament, yeah. So how did the church even know about Jesus Christ by the Bible? Because the church was the, they were, they were companions of him. How? What was the first church to know about? What was the first church to know about? The first church that we know about, the, the, the church church, yeah. know about yeah. is the one that I belong to. What's the that? one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And when is the first one of those? It, it, from the first century, from the time of Jesus. I'll give you an evidence. 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 Paul writes to a church in Corinth. Okay? So that church existed before Paul wrote to it. Do you agree with that logic? If you're writing to a group of people, the group of people are there before the letter. Logical, right? Right. So the community existed before the scripture because it's the letter to the Corinthian church that is in the scripture, but he's writing that scripture to a church, which means that and he calls them a church and he says they're a church. So the church existed before the scripture. There's your evidence. And the Corinthian, one second, right, and the letter to the Corinthians, right? Get this. Most scholars accept that that letter is quoting something, right? He's quoting a hymn that was known amongst the early Christians that was written between five to ten years after the resurrection event after the resurrection event it was an early creed of the church and Paul quotes it to the Corinthian church so he's quoting something that they know back to them Paul, Paul, he was contemporaneous but he wasn't a companion okay but he's around the same time as Jesus he was around the same time as Jesus so are you telling me the church was built up after Jesus' resurrection after Jesus that's what the church is brought up the church emerges the church emerges over the course of Christ's life. 
So there's different points. That, there's different points in the life of the church that we can point to and go, church here, church here, church here. Most of those early ones occur in Christ's life, but then the church explodes after Christ. The one holy Catholic and apostolic church. It's the only church that exists. It is the body of Christ to which all the denominations belong. Okay, that's fair enough. I like the argument. Before I check up what you said, because you said you're not going to this, right? I'm going to check up my back and make up what you Okay. If you say it makes sense, I'm going to go check up what you said. Fine. So I want to leave you with a thought. Yeah. Okay. Just a thought, because I know you're leaving. And because you... Hang on, but I like it. Right. I want to leave you with a thought. Yeah. If Muslims make a claim that an Injil existed in the first century, which they do because the Quran makes that claim, then the burden of proof for that Injil's existence is on the Muslims. So in other words, you have to prove to me that an Injil was corrupted before I have to believe it. If you can't prove to me that an Injil was corrupted to what I call the Bible now, then I am entitled logically, rationally, and according to evidence to believe in my Bible and not your Quran. I accept what you said about Muslims having to make the proof of evidence that the Injil existed and been corrupted. I accept that. But you cannot logically in any way claim that this Bible is not changed or tempered or corrupted in any way. Okay. That claim, that's what we're going to make. We're talking about scholarly, intellectually, biblically. Like that claim cannot hold. Right, one second, bro. Can you make that claim that this Bible has never changed in any way? Right, so let me address that point. Yeah. Let me address that point. I'm going to say it without any shame on camera. The text of the Bible has been changed. Now listen, now listen. Listen to the next statement. The message of the Bible remains unchanged. Did you hear those two statements? Yeah, I heard that. The text of the Bible, yeah. as someone who's actually looked into this, right? I can tell you where all the big changes occur because we know where they all occur. It's the uh, adultery pedicope. It's the comma Johannan. Um, these are two of the biggest. It's the longer ending of Mark. We know what they are. We can talk about them. I'm happy to talk about them, right? We talk, we listen, listen, it's really important. We've documented all of the changes that we can find in the manuscripts. We've documented, we don't hide from it. Listen, here's what a non-Christian scholar who is a critic of Christianity says about these changes. Dr. Bart Ehrman says that not a single doctrine of the Christian faith is affected by any, any textual variant at all. That's what, a critic, he's not even a friend of Christianity. Google his name, he attacks Christianity all the time. But he's on record saying it doesn't affect any of our doctrines. Which means that the message of the scripture is not changed by the changes of the scripture. The claim is that it's changed, but the meaning has not changed. Correct. Now let me go back to the Quran, because this is why I brought you up. Because you said all versions of the Bible, and I said what about versions of the Quran? And your reply was, different words, same meaning. We made that claim before you. We were making this claim before Islam ever came about. Our patriarchal fathers, like Augustine, Origen, know the textual variants before the birth of Islam, and they are happy to use them all. So Muslims are making an argument they don't understand, based on evidence that they don't understand, against a religion that they don't understand. I have made potential you saying the things have changed, I've been a state of sin. I have made a potential but like I said, I'm going to look into it rather than just talk off the hip. But one thing you cannot talk to Muslims about is the preservation of the text. In that lane, we don't stand a chance. Now, if you're making an argument, if you're making an argument, if you're making an argument right now about the text has not changed and we has not changed, fair enough. We've got to speak after looking to hire a professional. As you see, I didn't make a protection by it. Yeah, there's no conflict. So, bro, if you go and look at the different versions of the Quran, the Haru, the, the different Haru, the Wash, the Duri, if you go away and study this, I'm going to tell you three things you're going to find. Yeah, yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to identify three things you're going to find. One, you're going to find that there's more than seven. Then you have to explain to me why there's more than seven when the Hadith say the Quran was revealed only in seven modes. 
So that's your first problem. Why is there more than seven when your hadith say there's only seven? That's the first thing you're going to discover. There's a problem in the part of very logical section. I'll go get him for you. Bring him. Bring him. Yeah. Right. The second thing you're going to discover is that these different haruf use different words, and those different words impact the localized meaning of the passage. I'm happy to accept they don't change the overall message of the Quran. I'm happy to accept that. I should accept that it might have been intentional in the modern day. What the Quran was telling us a challenge from that time to the Arabian nation, right? Yes. So would you accept that it might have been intentional? Well, no, I would say, this is genuinely what I would say. Yeah. I would say that it's evidence that Muslims tried very hard to preserve the text and failed. And you said two seconds. If there's a, there's a hadith that the, that the Prophet himself basically says, I'm paraphrasing, that this different from the Quran to the to be so. And when was that hadith written? Two hundred years later. Now why? Why? The hadith was compiled two years later. Don't try to write a No, no, we can, only, we can only go off when the record exists. That hadith. If the hadith, if the hadith is referred to and existed, then it was obviously written in the time of the Prophet. Well, how people upon them, right? Yeah. So you saying this two hundred years later is you trying to red herring or whatnot? That's in general. Are you? Are you, are you wait, one, one second. To you. One second. That's in general. One second. Okay. Uh, I want to. I want you to consider something. Are you saying the hadith are all turned years later? Listen. 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 Yes. No, listen. No, listen. No, listen. No, listen. No, are you aware? Are you listening? I'm going to give you evidence. Are you? 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 Are you
So these are two versions of the Quran saying two different things. One says two magics, two works of magic, and the other says two magicians. Those are not the same texts, they're not saying the same thing. Therefore, these are different Qurans. I can give you another example. Let me just think of another one. Here's another one. Surah 36, Ayah 68, in the Hafs version. The word is Kabira. And he reads this. Our Lord gave them double the punishment and cursed them with a great curse. But in the version out by Alayf ibn Khalad, the word is Kathira, which reads, Our Lord, give them double the punishment and curse them with many curses. Those are different words. Are they cursed by one great big curse? Or are they cursed by the accumulation of lots of little ones? Or lots of big ones? Which is it? The texts are different, the meaning is different.